Learn how to send texts in English, part one. Welcome to Melissa Carroll, my English teacher, and I am Melissa and I am a teacher and this is a channel on all things English. So it's aimed at the intermediate, high intermediate level student in English. I hope you enjoy the lessons. In this video, you're going to learn 25 very common English text abbreviations. And I saved the best one for last, or you could say the baddest one for last. Okay, number one, what do you think the abbreviation HF stands for? So first of all, an abbreviation means uh, short for, and you will hear me ask this question throughout the entire video. What do you think it stands for? And that means what does the abbreviation represent or mean? Have fun. Text number two, what do you think OED is an abbreviation for? End of discussion. When you send a text OED, you're shutting down the conversation. You are not wanting to participate in this conversation anymore. Your words, your final word, end of discussion. <laughs> text number three, what do you think the abbreviation NOYB stands for? It stands for none of your business. Now you would text that to a friend, or this is casual informal language. You don't really maybe text that to your boss, but you would text this to your friend or your family member. And it means stay out of it. It's none of your business. So you would say that if they were asking, uh, you know, a personal question or an inappropriate question you didn't want to answer. It's really none of your business. Text number four. What do you think the abbreviation YOLO stands for? You only live once. You would say this to someone if they were like, I don't know if I should do this or not. And you would say, go for it. You know, you only live once. Take that chance. Text number five. What do you think the abbreviation BTW stands for? It stands for by the way. And you would text this to a friend when you want to change the subject. This is a great opportunity to remind you to hit the like button and subscribe if you find value in these videos. Moving on to text number six. What do you think the abbreviation LMK stands for? Let me know. And it means I'm interested. Let me know when you get that phone call for the job interview or let me know if he calls you to go out. Text number seven. What do you think the abbreviation YMMD stands for? You made my day. That means you made me really happy. That thing you texted me just, you just made my day. I'm so excited. Text number eight. What do you think the abbreviation AAMOF stands for? It stands for, as a matter of fact, and you would text this to a friend if you were clarifying something. So if they had a question, maybe they didn't believe something was true and then you were about to say, yes, it is true. You would say, well, as a matter of fact, and then you clarify that point. Text number nine. What do you think the abbreviation FAQ stands for? This one is super common. It stands for Frequently Asked Questions. You might even see this at the top of a website. It's so common. Text number 10. What do you think the abbreviation AKA stands for? It stands for Also Known As, which means another name for something. Text number 11. DIY. This abbreviation is so very common. There are actually YouTube channels called DIY something. So what do you think it stands for? It stands for do it yourself. So if you're handy and you like to create things with your hands, then you can do it yourself, make your own table or something like that. Text number 12. What do you think the abbreviation FWIW stands for? It means for what it's worth. And that means you're giving your opinion. It's kind of like in my opinion. It's just another way to say, you know, for what it's worth, I think it's a great idea. Text number 13. 
What do you think the abbreviation LMAO stands for? This is very common, fun, casual text. It means laugh my ass off. So you would say this if you thought something was so very, very funny. I laughed my ass off. So if someone texts you something that's funny and it made you really laugh out loud hard, then you would text that. Text number 14. What do you think the abbreviation 2F4U stands for? It stands for too fast for you, and that's a question. So you're asking someone, you don't have to use the question mark, but are you a, you're asking someone, is that too fast for you? Or maybe you're joking with each other, texting, going, huh, too fast for you. The professor's going really slowly. You could use it sarcastically. Or if the professor was going really too fast. Text number 15, what do you think the abbreviation A-F-A-I-K stands for? It stands for as far as I know. This is the same way as saying, it's my understanding. Text number 16, what do you think the abbreviation ILY stands for? It means, I love you. Text number 17, see you. What do you think see you is an abbreviation for? This one's easy. See you, well the letters see you happen to sound just the same as see you, see you later. Um, Sometimes in the O in English, we will say see ya instead of see you, but same thing. Text number 18, for Y-E-O, is an abbreviation for what? For your eyes only. You would say this if maybe you sent a picture of yourself in a bikini to your boyfriend and you ask him to not show this picture to other people. It is for his eyes only. So, you know, keep it to yourself. It's like a secret, kind of. Text number 19. What does R-O-F-L stand for? Rolling on the floor laughing. This one's very popular. It means it was so funny. I dropped down to the floor, grabbed my tummy, rolling around laughing with stitches in my stomach. Text number 20, BC. It's an abbreviation for what? What do you think it stands for? It's short for because. Text number 21, I-K-R is an abbreviation for what? What does this stand for? I know, right? It's when you are in total agreement. And of course, there's a little surprise there. I know, right? Like, text number 22, O-F-C. What is this an abbreviation for? It means, of course. So if your wife texted you and said, could you pick up some milk on the way home? You would respond, OFC, of course. Or maybe your friends want to have a party on the weekend at your house. And you're like, of course. (laughs) Text number 23, SMH. What is this an abbreviation for? What does it stand for? It means shake my head. And you shake your head in disagreement, like... As in, oh my, oh, wow, like crazy. I can't believe she did that. Shake my head. So you are disapproving. Text number 24, NVM. Never mind. And the best for last. STFU. What is this an abbreviation for? Shut the fuck up. This is a bad word, but it's kind of funny and it's very popular. You would say this for, you know, shut up. If you want someone to like, shut up, maybe stop teasing me. But also in total surprise, you can say, what? Shut the fuck up. What's your favorite text in English? Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching a video by Melissa Carroll, my English teacher.